Hey guys, what's going on? Spipprix here, back for another LEGO Ninjago video, and today we finally got the very first teaser trailer, official one by LEGO, for Season 11 of Ninjago. This season is called Secrets of the Forbidden Spinjitzu, and let me just tell you that this teaser trailer was a lot more than what I was expecting. I have to admit that this is probably the best trailer that we have gotten by far ever. Out of all the trailers that LEGO has ever released for any Ninjago season, this has got to be one of my favorites. It really revealed so much, so many unexpected events that are going to be happening in this upcoming season, so be sure to stick around for this entire video because we're going to analyze every single part of this trailer as well as I'm going to tell you guys a few things that I noticed whenever I was watching the trailer that kind of stood out to me and overall just some things you may have missed. If you are excited for these upcoming episodes for Season 11, be sure to let me know with a like rating down below, and let's go ahead and jump right into this trailer. Quite literally, this is a fire trailer. It's got so much packed into it, and, well, there's a lot of fire in it. I think that the pyro snakes were showing, like, all over this trailer, more so than the Blizzard Samurai, but we'll talk more about that as we go through this trailer. The first bit that we get to see is maybe one of the new opening screens or intros for this season. I'm not exactly sure, but we have the main six ninja here and you guys can see this sort of animation style. It's, there's a lot of really good animation from this trailer that I can see. I'm very, very impressed. I, I think that's even better than really any animation that we've ever gotten for Ninjago. I'm really excited about it, but let's go ahead and continue here. The first little scene that we got was a quick glimpse at the land bounty. We have it here actually in motion. This is the first time we're seeing it in an actual animated style here in the episode. I think it'll be really interesting to see how that land bounty is used throughout the season. And and of course we have here, I presumably is Asphira, who is going to be the leader of the Pyro Vipers or the Pyro Snakes for Season 11. I personally think that these villains look absolutely phenomenal. I don't think LEGO could have done a better job animating them, but I do think it's interesting with this Asphira figure here is that for the minifigure style, we get sort of that ghost piece, kind of similar to some of the ghost minifigures we've gotten in the past or like Nauticon. However, in the actual episodes here, you can see that I believe he has some sort of snake tail instead. So that's just kind of interesting. I first noticed that, but this is very, very crucial to understand this gives us a very very huge sneak peek into this trailer a glimpse at what is to come we can see a ninja here and the power is being basically uh, taken out of him kind of think of back to the tournament of elements whenever chen was pretty much using the elemental powers of the masters but here i believe this is kai since there's fire coming out of it and that's how the pyro vipers here got their fire powers perhaps i'm not exactly sure but we'll learn a lot more as time progresses we have another one of the warriors for the pyro Vipers. I just think the animation and the lighting just looks fantastic. We also have this really weird creature that they apparently have met in the desert. We can see the ninja on the very bottom there. Looks to be progressively at the beginning of these episodes as Cole still has this contraption on his head, his like drink contraption. This is some sort of, I guess, desert crab. I really have no idea. It's really wacky. And we also have this scene here as we go on. We can see some of the ninja, you know, just you know, readying up to fight their villains for this season. And we have the spinjitsu, the art of spinjitsu, still making a return. It's not just going to be all forbidden spinjitsu, but at some point that will be there as well. And there's some really awesome animation for that that we'll see a little bit later in this video. And also in this scene, you guys can see that Cole is uh, dabbing. Okay, and to go moving on here, we have Clutch Powers. And this is a huge crossover. I haven't done a specific video on this because we really don't know much at all at this point but from this scene he is with Kai so he's going to be making interactions with the ninja I assume he's going to be a ally of the ninja he's going to be on the good side which is always cool and we'll have to see how that progresses we have sort of this ancient pyramid that explodes with fire out of the top and we have this scene here where the ninja are basically dangling over this magma or lava at the bottom I really hope that Nia is able to hold on for this scene we also have Antonia making an appearance here in this teaser trailer, which is really awesome. This is one of the fan-made characters, I believe, for this upcoming season. So it would be really cool to see the role that she has. She has some sort of printed torso there with a lightning bolt on it. Is Jay her favorite ninja? I don't know. That's just, you know, what I've noticed from this image here. And it looks like she has one of her siblings with her. 
Now, like I said earlier, this teaser is predominantly focused on the Pyro Vipers or the Pyro Snakes. The Blizzard Warriors, or I should say the Blizzard Samurai, really didn't get any screen time at all, which was surprising, but there is a few little sneak peeks and uh, some just very, very short scenes we'll look at a little bit while later in this video. But as we're moving on here, we can see the Fire Fang, that's the actual Lego set, and up on the top we have Esfira basically on the throne and they're wrecking havoc in Ninjago City once again. You gotta feel bad for Ninjago City. They, they get destroyed every single season. I mean, the civilians there, why would you even come back to Ninjago City at this point? You know that eventually some weird villain is gonna come in and invade your city once again, and that is exactly what is happening here. We can see some of the vehicles of the ninja over on the right, some of which are in a lot of the sets for this wave, and that's really cool to see. We have sort of a battle scene here where we have Jay and Lloyd that are readying up their powers to fight back against Esfira and the Pyro Vipers. Once again, the animation is spot on for this. I feel like LEGO really wanted to give us a good impression of the amazing style of animation that will be making an appearance in this season, you know, just to reinstate for the fact that we got that unfinished trailer that was leaked back then. But anyways, we also have Samurai X returning, which is really, really cool. I know that a lot of people like to see the Samurai X, or in this case, we know it's Pixel really making an interaction in the episodes, and so we will definitely be seeing that, which is a cool little sign. We have this sort of battle scene going on here. I mean, the entire city is going to get burned down. It's, I don't know, it's pretty crazy. We have the Fire Fang, and then I believe this sort of serpent on the bottom right-hand corner here, I believe that's Char. It might not be, but I believe so with that black tail in the very back and some of that printing on there may be mistaken, but that's kind of, you know, the character that it resembles. And as we move on, we have a few more sort of battle scenes that are hinting at what's to come in season 11. Here we have Lloyd, who is still taking the lead role and basically leading the ninja here. He's still out in front, which to be honest, I really like since he is still taking that lead role, although I believe that Kai is going to have a very large influence on the season as well, and we can see some of the other ninja with him at this point. Now, this is an awesome scene. We have the Forbidden Spinjitsu Lloyd. This is basically him. He, You can see that he has the scroll of Forbidden Spinjitsu in his left hand right there. And so from this, we do know that the ninja eventually get the scroll and are able to harness the power of Forbidden Spinjitsu. I'm very excited to see the other ninja with this power because Lloyd here just looks absolutely crazy. I really like how this animation turned out for him. I mean, just look at this, the energy pulsing around him. No wonder the minifigures are cool. The animation is just as cool to go along with it. And there you can see the scroll a little bit better. Now here is a huge plot twist that I really wasn't expecting whenever I watched this trailer, but whenever I saw it, oh man, it's definitely going to change the way that you look at season 11 here. We have Sensei Wu, and he is going to be an evil villain, at least for some point of season 11. We know that from the land bounty set, from the box art images, it appears that he is still aiding the ninja at that point. However, it's very clear that basically in every single scene that Master Wu is in for this teaser, he is against the ninja. So I, I don't know if he's been possessed by Forbidden Spinjitsu. He's got sort of that energy coming out of the top of his head, just like the ninja do, like the ninja minifigures whenever they have Forbidden Spinjitsu powers. And so I can assume that is what happened to Wu here, and he is going against the ninja. I mean, the ninja are basically getting destroyed, let's be honest. So it may be a little bit of difficulties for the ninja, but here we have a very, very interesting flashback. So we know that we are going to be getting some flashbacks. I assume how the Pyro Vipers originated or, you know, the first encounters with the Pyro Vipers back in the day. We have Wu and presumably Garmadon, of course, behind him. So that is also something very interesting to look forward to. Just some more backstory to add on to our continual knowledge on the history of Ninjago and the vast significance of Wu and his brother. Here we have one of the scenes from the leaked trailer that is all polished up here so you can see that the animation is in fact very nice at this point and it was not finished whenever we got that leak. And then we have this crazy chicken. I, I really don't know. We also have an appearance of Lloyd's Titan Mech for this season and we can also see in the background of this image here as the ninja are fighting some of the snakes villains. 
All right, now we're at a very pivotal point of this teaser trailer. In fact, we actually get to see some of the Blizzard Samurai, which is very crucial. I mean, really, we didn't get to see any of these Blizzard Samurai in this trailer practically until the very, very end here. And we don't have much, but what we do have tells us a lot about what to expect. We have the Ice Samurai here, and he's appearing to be basically be spied on by either one of the ninja, I believe it, maybe Zane or some sort of device that they're using to basically investigate this area. And as we continue continue on we can also see that they recognized the ice dragon of the ice emperor that's a basically a lego set that also comes in the castle of the forsaken emperor there's that ice dragon build in there and we also have this sort of look of the never realm which is supposedly in an eternal winter and the ninja are trying to reverse it that's the whole point of the season i believe you guys can check out one of the videos i did a couple days ago on the plot and storyline of this season as a whole we also have this scene which i presumably can assume it's maybe from whenever um, evil Wu was fighting them because all the ninja just get all piled up and were basically defeated at this point perhaps they were maybe training who really knows not much context to that we also have the return of this beetle for another sh very very short scene where we have Jay pretty much launching himself towards it I'm not exactly sure the vast significance of that but we'll have to see we also have a very short scene here of just some just more commotion going on in the city as well as some of the ninja vehicles we can see different angles of them and and this kind of interesting scene, I mean, they're in so, some sort of snowy environment and they have this animal running towards him. Not exactly sure what type of animal this is. It doesn't look like that three-tailed fox or whatever we have Akita being, but I don't really know. Maybe just some other wild animal. <laughs> Who really knows? From the different scenes of this trailer, we can really visualize Ninjago City and exactly how the animation depicts it. And finally, last but certainly not least, we have this sort of end scene where we have Lloyd and we have Master Wu kind of out of the frame at the very front. And so this is going to be one of the main battles, I'd assume, of this upcoming season. I'm very, very excited. Lots of hype. I'm super excited after seeing this trailer, to be honest. I'm even more excited for season 11. If you guys have any video requests of anything you guys want to hear more about, that I talked about in this analysis video. Be sure to let me know down below. But anyways, that's really gonna wrap it up here. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you do not miss out on any further Ninjago content. Be sure to turn on those post notifications. With that, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Check out one of the videos on screen right now. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.